Hello dear students, today I am going to explain squares of uh, individual numbers that are nearest to 100 and also nearest to 50. So these are very useful for all competitive exams that are banks, SSC, railways, LIC, LIC and you know CAT, MAT and all other competitive exams. Okay, Let us start from the basics. So here we are taking a number that is nearest to 100 that means we are taking 100 as our benchmark okay let us take a number for example 96 square okay so how can you do a 96 square in very less span of time okay here see so here we are taking 100 as our benchmark like i said before okay so here see the difference between 96 and 100 is 4 that is 4 less than 100 right so in two steps we can identify this square so step number 1 clearly the difference is 4 now so we should subtract that 4 from 96 so 96 minus 4 that is 92 so this is our step number 1 now let us write two places here why two places because we are taking 100 as our benchmark so that so in 100 we have two zeros so it's a wild guess so take two places here and now here see the difference is 4 now we have to take the square of 4 so what is the square of 4 see 4 square is equal to 16 so let us write down 16 here so that is the square of 96 square that is 92 16 also we can cross check 96 into 96 let us multiply 6 6 the 36 3 carry forward 6 multiples 9 54 54 plus 3 57 and also let us multiply with 9, 9, 6, 54, okay, 5 carry forward, 9, 9, 81, 81 plus 5, 86, after adding 6, 7 plus 4, 11, and 1 carry forward, 5 plus 6, 11, 11 plus 1, 12, 12, and 1 carry forward, 8 plus 1, 9, so 92, 16, so 96 square is 92, 16, okay, let us take another number, for example, 93 square, okay, this is also nearest to 100. So, how much it is nearest? Clearly, the difference between 93 and 100 is 7 and also 7 less than 100. So, we need to subtract 7 from 93 that is our step number 1. So, 93 minus 7 that is clearly 86 and we need to write two places here. So, the 7, the 7 square is 49, therefore 49, write down 49 here. Okay. So, 86, 49 is the square of 93 square. So, you can also cross check by 93 into 93. Okay. What if a number is more than 100? Okay. Let us do one more example which is more than 100. For example, I will take 109 square. I will take 109 square. This is also nearest to 100, but clearly this is the difference between 109 and 100 is clearly 9 and moreover 9 more than 100. So, in this condition, we have to do addition because in previous uh, you know in previous uh, example clearly the number is less than 100 that's why we are subtracting and here the number is more than 100 that's why we are doing addition so how much the difference between 109 and 100 it is clearly 9 therefore in our step number 1 we need to add 9 to 109 then we'll get 118 that is our step number 1 and we need to write two places here since 9, the difference is 9, therefore, we need to do square of 9. So, the square of 9 is 81. So, 118 and 81. So, that is the square of 109. Okay. These particular squares are very, very useful for in arithmetical problems like, you know, compound interest. Okay. In compound interest and uh, two dimension figures like areas of a square or a uh, lateral surface area or total surface area in uh, 3D or 2D. Okay and particularly compound interest problem because compound interest problem is like this and some series problems some in arithmetical we have some series problems so in series problems also squares are very very useful okay now let us see a number that is nearest to 50 okay now let us take a number that is nearest to 50 understand here see i'll take a number for example uh, i'll take a number 48 okay 48 square I want to do 48 square so 
here also same, but there is a small difference between the number which is nearest to 100 and a number which is nearest to 50, there is a small difference, let us differentiate. See here also we, we here we should take 50 as our benchmark, clearly the difference between 48 and 50 is 2, moreover 2 is less than 50. So, we need to subtract 2 from not 48, here we have to uh, observe clearly 50 square is equal to 2500. So, let us addition or let us subtract from 25 not to the certain number understand. So, we need to subtract this 2 from 25. So, that is our step number 1 25 minus 2 23 and the rest of the part is same as usual. So, since 2 is uh, different therefore, 2 square 2 square is equal to 4, but we need to write 2 place values 2 places here therefore, we need to write 0 4 understand. So, this is the method for example, let us take one more example which is more than 50, I will take uh, 58 square, I will take 58 square, here also we should take 50 as our benchmark, clearly the difference between 58 and 8, I mean 50 is 8, so we need to add 8 to the not 58, we should add 8 to the 25, so 25 plus 8 that is 33, that is our step number 1 and we should place two places, I mean two places. So, 8, 8 square is equal to 64, therefore, we need to write 64. So, that is the square of 58, so that is 33, 64. Okay, now, let us recheck this answer. So, by multiplying 58 square, 58 square means what? 58 into 58, therefore, 58 into 58, 8, 8 is a 64, 6 carry forward, 8, 5 is 40, 40 plus 6, 46 and now, 5, 5 8 is 40, 0 and you know 4 carry forward, 5 5 is 25, 25 plus 4 29. Now, let us add 4, 6, 4 plus 9 13, 3, 1 carry forward, 2 plus 1 3, double 3 6 4 and here also double 3 6 4. This is the concept of a 2 digit number square or any 3 digit number square that is nearest to 100 or nearest to 50. Okay. We have some more examples and let us uh, discuss in our coming classes. Thank you very much.